Hello, hello. Oh, Danny, it's you there, right? Brenda, how are you? Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. It's the, it's, I, I am great. Good. It's good to listen that my students are doing great. Welcome to the class. Good evening, everyone, everybody. You. Well, I have only Mariela Fernanda, Jani, and you here. Okay, so Mariela, welcome to the class. I hope you're doing fine as well as Brenda. How are you, Miss Medrano? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> are you eating? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, enjoy your, your food, okay? <laughs> thank you. Let's wait for the rest of the class, you know, maybe they are about to join us. Um, uh -huh. I'm going to start sharing. Today's class is very, very important, people. Because as I mentioned yesterday, we are going to use today's topic to develop the second and last oral activity for this level, right? So I, I hope everybody is like paying attention, asking questions, you know, and trying to get involved in the discussions. So you can have, a, let's say, the tools to develop a very good oral presentation tomorrow because you are going to do it tomorrow, but in pairs, right? It is going to be a short, but um, meaningful, you know? You and your, and you and your partner who you are going to know today, yes, are going to create a, a short presentation about something I will explain um, in some minutes. Let's see, we have Fatima with us. Welcome, Fatima. Good to see you. Um, <laughs> How are you doing, Fatima? Are you are you good? Are you okay? Good. Very well. Very well. Nice. Nice. I have Elmer now with us with a with a cup of coffee, I suppose, right? I need it, teacher. I need it. <laughs> to be awake, right? During the class time. Yeah, I know that after a long day of of work you know we need some energy and sometimes we get that energy from a delicious cup of coffee some people from soda you know or from some um, other beverages so alejandra nicole is here people activate your cameras you know you are a you are always with cameras off i need to see you you know there are some students who i don't recognize their faces because I have never seen them. Huh, there you are, Jonathan. Jose Jonathan, welcome. This is class number 16, my friends. Don't you feel happy that you are about to finish 
three intermediate one, huh? To finish, you know, the year with the positive vibes that you did a very good job during, you know, your English classes. That has to be the motivation. Yes. That I don't know if you have this as as your New Year resolution. You know, because most people say, oh, for the next year, I want to learn a second language. I want to learn English. Some people begin the year, you know, with that resolution once and once again, you know, but few people make it real. And you guys are making this resolution or this objective, this goal, real now because you are here with me uh, taking classes yes and instead of being watching tv you know and, and that effort pays back you know you will see that you are going to have better opportunities when you speak a second language yes so it's very important that you are here with me i feel so proud to have you as my students and um okay rocio i got your message you are at work don't worry i understand i understand uh let's see cesar is here with us jeldy lady so everybody you are welcome to this class number 16 yeah let's have fun together let's check the class objective you know to have in mind the specific things that we are going to develop in this session. So, I need Carlos Cesar, yeah, for Charlie, uh, reading the class objective for today's session. So, Charlie, what is it? Okay, class objective. At the end of the lesson, participants will be able to describe food cooking techniques. Okay, we'll be able, able to describe food, listen to this, cooking techniques. Oh, teacher, but we are not chefs, right? We are not very good at cooking, but at least maruchan soups, you know, you can prepare, I suppose, you know? So there should be a cooking technique you have, you know, for scrambled eggs, right? You know, my husband always says, oh, you know what? The, the scrambled egg I prepare is the best, you know? He, he is a very uh, special cook or chef when preparing a scrambled eggs with vegetables, you know? I don't know what he does, but the taste is different from the one I prepare. So he has his cooking technique, yeah? So I suppose all of you have your cooking technique, yeah? Not uh, maybe for very elaborated dishes, but for simple, you know, uh, Salvadoran dishes, right? So let's take a look at the agenda. This is the one. Welcome, warm up activity. We are about to go uh, to the warm up activity, the class presentation, development, production, and the wrap up. Okay, but before we go to the warm up that is here, I need you to tell me. What words, what vocabulary do you remember about yesterday's class? Because we were describing food. Yeah? What words come to your mind about yesterday's class? Okay. I see. Uh-huh. Brenda, anything else? Este, spicy. Spicy, very good. Spicy. Do you like spicy food, Brenda, by the way? Yeah, I really? like it. <laughs> wow, you know, I, I am not a fan of spicy things eh, because um, I guess I am a little bit intolerant to that sort of uh, flavors, you know, very hot flavors for me are, mm -mm. but there are people who love them. Yes, who love spicy foods, right? And Brenda is the one, right? Any other word that comes to your mind about yesterday's? Session, class, only that, only Brenda. And the rest, mute. Okay, no. let's move no. to the one. Oh, uh -huh, there's no. another. What did you say, Fatima? Fine. I, A, W. Row. 
Roll. Roll. Okay, roll. <laughs> like, like sushi, it's right? That's it. That's it. Oh, That's it. very good. Very good. Who else? Elmer, you want to say Crunchy. something? Yeah. Now I can I can say their tortillas is raw. Ah, the tortillas. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. When they are not uh, completely cooked, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. And wh what about your coffee? Do you like it bitter or with sugar? Bitter. No sugar. No sugar in your coffee. Without wow. sugar. You know, you are uh, now at that age when people drink their coffee without sugar. I prefer it with one spoon of, you know, spoon of sugar. Not too bitter, but it's delicious, right? Nice, yeah. people. So let's go to the warm up. And you know, the warm up is about it, riddles. I don't know if you are good at guessing things. Yes. But riddles in English um, are very good because you, in a way, exercise your mind. And in Spanish, of course, you know, it's the same. But since you are learning English, it's good to exercise your mind. So food riddles, you know. We are going to guess the food by reading the hints, the, the clues, yeah? So there are some clues, and you guess the word. Jonathan, Jose Jonathan, activate your microphone, and you are going to be the first one. Read this, and tell me, what do you think the food is? Read it out loud, so everybody can listen to you, Jonathan. I'm a small fruit mm -hmm. that's often used to make capture. What, what, what am I? I? What am I? Okay, oh. listen, I am a small red fruit fruit, people. We eat it as a vegetable, but it is a fruit that's often used to make ketchup. What am I? Lady, you have the answer. Is a tomato? Yeah, let's flip the page. Yeah, a tomato. Teacher, but is tomato a fruit? Yes, my friends. We eat it as a vegetable, but it is indeed fruit, right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, did you guess it right? Yeah, right. So let's continue with this one. Okay, I need a lady here. Dina Damaris, activate your microphone. Okay, I am popular breakfast dish made from bitten or bitten? Bitten. Bitten eggs cooked in a pan. What, what I am I? Am I? What, what am, am I? I? Uh -huh. Listen, I am a popular breakfast dish made from bitten eggs. Bitten eggs, right? Cooked in a pan. What am I? Uh -huh. Are you thinking? Beans. Beans. Mm -hmm. No. Beaten no. eggs. Look, it is something that we get from eggs. But beaten, it's like, you know, with a, with a knife. Oh. I mean, with a fork. We use a fork. Oh, no. to... oh, yeah. Teacher pancake. Pancake. Um, okay. Ah, hot cakes. No. Oh, yeah. teacher. No. Uh -huh. omelette. 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 Yeah, Yanira, that's an omelette. Yeah, beaten oh. eggs. Teacher, beaten eggs is batidos. well batidos. Uh -huh. uh. Beaten eggs. That's the one. Thank you so much. Well done, Yanira. Now I need a boy. Is Efra in my class right now? Efra? No. So maybe we can try with Elmer. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Elmer, read the description here. I am green on the outside and I am being, I am big and heavy. What am I? What am I? I'm green. Listen, I'm green on the outside, the outside. And I'm big and heavy. What do you think you are? Watermelon. Watermelon. Lady, do you agree with Elmer that this is watermelon? 
Yes, I yes. think. Okay, well, let's, well. let's flip. Let's flip the page. That is watermelon, green on the outside and red in the outside, right? And it it contains black seeds, right? Black seeds, semillitas negritas. Excellent. Now I need you, Ana Rebecca, reading this. Um, yellow and, and the sweet. Yeah. And the feel of my skin. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, a banana. A banana. Okay, let's see. Ana says banana. And you are a banana, Rebecca. Very good. You peel, you know, you peel the skin of a banana to eat it, right? Because we don't eat the skin. Excellent. Now I want to listen to yes. Um Rocio Stephanie. So here we go, Rosie. This is yours. I a sweet treat that's often associated with birthdays. People blow up candles on me. What am I? Okay. Okay. She says, listen, mm -hmm. I'm a sweet treat that's often associated with birthdays. People blow out candles on me. What am I? And Rosie says, Cake, teacher. Cake. Cake. Yeah, you are a cake. Cakes <laughs> are delicious and they cannot uh, be omitted, you know, in birthdays. A birthday is not a birthday without a cake, you know? So, Janira, this is yours. Take a look at this one. Evelyn, no, Janira, no, sorry, because Janira is driving. Evelyn, Janet. Hello, teacher. Hello. Read the description and then you tell me what you think it is. Um, crunchy and orange and rabbits love to eat me. What am I? Big clue. Is carrot? Yeah, very easy, teacher. This is a piece of cake. I'm crunchy and orange and rabbits love to eat me. What am I? Not only rabbits, you know, I love carrots. They are delicious. This is the one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's see. I need you, Jose Marvin, to read this. Okay, teacher. Uh, I am a crunchy snap that's made from core. I am often enjoy it at movie theaters. What I am? What am it's I? A what am I? What am I? Popcorn? Easy, easy, yeah. Popcorn, <laughs> definitely, right? When it says, when it says, you know, I enjoyed at movie theaters, you have the answer, right? When you go to the yeah. movies, you need to buy also the popcorn. Claudia, Claudita, let's see. Um, a tropical yellow fruit with a top, spiky outer layer. People drink my juice and eat my flesh. What am I? A tropical yellow fruit with a tough, spiky outer layer. People drink my juice and eat my flesh. What am I? What is it? Claudia? Coconut. Coconut, says Claudia. Ha, ah, let's see. No, Clau, it is pineapple. Pineapple. So listen, it says, I'm a tropical yellow fruit with a tough spiky outer layer, right? So anyway, this was not correct. Yeah, but what about this one, Sarah? I am a type of fish that often enjoyed in sushi. I'm known for my pink color and, and delicate. Delicate, uh -huh. Delicate flavor. What am I? Uh-huh. What is it? Um, salmon. 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 
Let's see. Yeah, you are salmon. Salmon, salmon, salmon. You know, put that accent on the word, you know. Believe you are the American person who is speaking in English, you know. Believe it in yourself, right? Very good. And the last one, let's see. This one was correct. The last one is for you. Ruby. Ruby Duran. I am alone in thing um, people often try thrill, thrill me around their pork. Uh -huh. I am come in various sauce and topping what am I? I'm long and thin, and people often twirl me around their fork. Me dan vuelta en el tenedor, dice. Mire, I come in various sauces and toppings. What am I? Pasta. Spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned it. Spaghetti or pasta. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And pasta is delicious, you know? With different yeah. combinations of, of um, protein, it is delicious. Thank you very much, class. You did a very good job with the riddles. Now my class is full of fruits and different kinds of food. Listen, we are going to have this exercise from um, yesterday's class that we couldn't cover and it's important. So I need you first, before we listen, to pay attention to the questions. Look at the questions. What kind of food does Chili like? How about Johnny? What kind of food does he like? These are the questions you are going to answer based on the video and the, the audio. What kind of food does Johnny really like? Does Chili like spicy food? Does Johnny like spicy food? What is Johnny's favorite kind of food? What is Chili's favorite kind of food? And what will they order? They are at a, at a, re at a restaurant, okay? So let's take a look at the video and the audio. And here we go. Keep the microphones off so they don't... Uh, interfere with uh, uh with the with the audio here so here we go so what kind of food do you like i like everything how about you me too i really love spicy food do you like mexican food yes i love it how about you? Yes, I really like tacos and nachos, but jalapenos are too spicy for me. Oh, I see. I love them. I always add hot sauce on everything. What is your favorite kind of food? Hmm, difficult question. I'm crazy about Indian food. I <laughs> love curry. Sorry, I didn't catch that. You love what? I'm crazy about Indian food. I love curry. And you? Let me see. It's a difficult question. Hmm. I really like sushi. Sushi is my favorite. I like Japanese food, too. I'm hungry. Let's order some burgers. Okay. Nice video and nice conversation, don't you think? Do you have the answers for these questions, people? Or you will have you would like to have a second chance? Do we? Second chance. Okay, Please. let's listen again. Thank Here we you. go. Good, good. So what kind of food do you like? I like everything. How about you? Me too. I really love spicy food. Do you like Mexican food? Yes, I love it. How about you? Yes, I really like tacos and nachos, but jalapenos are too spicy for me. Oh, I see. I love them. I always add hot sauce on everything. What is your favorite kind of food? Hmm, 
difficult question. I'm crazy about Indian food. I love curry. Sorry, I didn't catch that. You love what? I'm crazy about Indian food. I love curry. And you? Let me see. It's a difficult question. Hmm. I really like sushi. Sushi is my favorite. I like Japanese food too. I'm hungry. Let's order some burgers. All right. That's the end of the listening and the video. Okay, things to mention about the video, you know, about the, the expressions they use as an extra, as an extra, you know, from the video. When you want to express uh, the kind of food or the type of food you love, you can use the expression, I'm crazy about, right? I'm crazy about. So this is a very important expression to add to the list. Yeah, because in in day to day conversations, you are going to listen to American people saying this a lot. I'm crazy about right. I'm crazy about seafood, my friends. You know, I love. What I mean here is that I love sea seafood. Yes. So if you want to say that you love a person or that you are in love uh, with a person, you can say I'm crazy about. Johnny, for example. And that means that you love the person. Okay, so this expression is used in, in different contexts, right? And also, when you want the person to repeat, you can say, sorry, I didn't catch that, okay? Sorry, I didn't catch that. It's, it is another way to say, repeat again. Yeah, because I didn't understand. But you are not saying, I don't understand. You are saying, I didn't catch that. So the person is supposed to repeat what he or she said before. Okay? So these are the two phrases that we can add to our lexical notebooks, right? So you can use them in coming, you know, conversations. Okay, now let's take a, a look at the, uh, at the uh, questions we have here. Question number one says, what kind of food does Shirley like? And what is the answer? Sushi. Sushi likes sushi. Okay, Amber <laughs> says that Shirley likes sushi. Do you agree or disagree? I see Anna mm, frowning, frowning like this. So Anna, what do you think? Indian. Indian. Uh -huh. Evelyn? I, my favorite is sushi. Sushi. She, she likes she foods, tacos, nachos, tacos, nachos, jalapenos. Huh. My friends. No, those are not the answers. She Let, say everything. Aha, uh -huh. exactly, Evelyn. She says, I like everything. So, what kind of food does she really like? She likes everything. That has to be the answer. Yes? She likes everything. Yeah? She doesn't have one in specific, right? She mentioned that she likes everything. What about number two? What kind of food does he like? Mexican food. He likes spice. spicy food. Indian food, Indian food uh, is huh. uh, Okay, there is a difference between generally saying what kind of food do you like and what kind of Mexican. food do you really like? So the question uh, here is uh, yes. He likes spicy food. He, he likes spicy food. Spicy. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's go back to the first. You know? Uh huh. Pay attention. Look. So, what kind of food do you like? I like everything. How about you? Me too. Uh huh. 
Uh -huh. Everything. 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 Because Everything. he says me Everything. too. Right? He says me too. So he likes everything as chili, you know? It's the same, right? So now let's answer this one. He likes everything too. Everything. Now, number three is more specific. What kind of food does Johnny really like? And here you can give me the answer you were saying before. He likes spicy food. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mexican. He likes Mexican, right? Mexican. He really Mexican. likes Mexican. Okay. Does Chile like a spicy food? She doesn't like. No, right? She doesn't. She doesn't like spicy food. So the answer here is yes or no? No, right? Because oh. she mentions it. Okay, what about? No, she's not. What about him? Does Johnny like a spicy food? Yes. Yes, yes, right. Yes. Okay, nice. very good. Now number six. What is Johnny's favorite kind of food? Indian. Food. Indian food. Indian. Uh -huh, because he says I'm crazy about yes, Indian. Indian food. Very good. Indian food. Um. What about here? Number seven. What is Chile's favorite kind of food? Japanese. 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 Aha, Japanese food. Japanese food. What about the number eight? Hamburgers. Hamburger. Ah, burgers or hamburgers, right? They order burgers. Burgers. That's the answer. Very good. Excellent class. Now, let's um let's have you know a look at today's specific objective right we said that we were going to be talking about cooking techniques okay so my first question is can you cook <laughs> uh-huh can you cook ah big question teacher and difficult question not as a professional obviously right Number two says, how often do you cook? Number three, do you like cooking? Because there is a difference, you know? I cook, you can say, I cook because I have to teach it, but I don't like it, right? And number four, who cooks at home? And five, what's your favorite dish, okay? So we are going to have this conversation um, point, you know, you and a classmate right now, in the breakout rooms. So I need everybody to be getting involved in this discussion. You are going to have three minutes, okay, to discuss all the questions here. So get in the breakout rooms as soon as possible. The picture of the question is on the group, you know, the chat room. Um, on the chat room here too. So let's make the break. Uh, the breaker rooms right now so everybody can go immediately okay there you go join the breaker rooms people don't leave your partner there alone because later they don't have anybody uh, to practice with
Doris, Dora, Dora, Esmeralda, I need you to join the breakout room. Please go and work with your uh, classmates. The conversation point or the speaking point is very important. So take part in the discussion, please. Sorry, teacher, it's a problem for the internet. Okay, go to the break room. No, I don't like. <laughs> Okay. Do you cook at home? Yes, I cook at home. It's number four. Cook, cook, cook at home. Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Another person. Sí. O you, only you. You. Yes. Okay. Uh, what your favorite? Three, three, three days ago, my mom starts to cook because uh, she. She doesn't work. And um, that's her. Well, what's your favorite dish? Um, I love pasta and seafood. And I like um, everything, I think. And you, what's your favorite dish? Uh, well, in my case, I love the wings in sauce with our, with rice, and I love love that plate. I don't know. I eat my goose, <laughs> and that's all. Okay. We and with uh, uh, only only <laughs> okay, Yanira. I ask you, uh, hello. hello. Eh, voy, me metí, pero voy manejando, pero puedo contestarle este y okay. no preguntar porque no me puedo las preguntas, no la no, no puedo ver. Okay, don't worry. Sí. Okay, the first one, can you cook? Yes, um, I cook. I like cook. Okay. How often do you cook? Excuse me. Uh, how often do you cook? Very well. Top fish don't like, but mariscada sí. Oh yeah, very well. In my case, my uh, seafood, my favorite seafood is a uh, shrimp cocktail. Mm. I love. I love the shrimp cocktail. Natural or in pink sauce? I don't know how this. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. The uh, two forms. I love the the rose the the rose sauce and natural. Uh, yeah, it's same for me. They say sauce. The rose sauce. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Very well. Good job. That's all. Okay. 
team. Okay. Hi, Ray. Can you, can you cook? <laughs> Uh, yes, I can cook a little. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you cook? Two, two, uh, two, <laughs> two times in years. <laughs> I cook two times a week. <laughs> Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. <laughs> do you like cooking? No, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, who, who, who cooks at home? Uh, in my house, in my home, uh, cook my mom and my cousin. And I pay who cook for me. <laughs> your chef personal, your personal yes. chef. <laughs> yes. Because uh, in in the week I work. Uh, how do you say fuera de la ciudad? Mm, city outside. outside. Outside the city. Okay, up outside the city. <laughs> yes. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite dish? My. Sí, porque a uno. Yes. Bueno, la pregunta. Uh, can you cook? Yes, I can cook. And how often do you cook? I cook uh, three times every day. Mm, do you like cooking? Uh, yes, I like cooking. Very good, class. We are back. Thank you so much. I was, you know, enjoying the conversations because you are very honest, right? <laughs> uh, generally, people think that women love cooking or that women are the ones or the only ones who cook at home. But uh, I have realized today that that's not true. Okay, so I want to listen to you. You are going to be the protagonist of this, you know, time. So I would like to have right now, Lady Mariela. Lady, uh, important question, Lady. Can you cook? <laughs> yes, I can cook. You can. Ah, uh, do you have like a variety of dishes that you can cook or you have a, one special dish? Teacher, no sé por qué me sacó de la clase, tuve que volverme a conectar, no sé si eso me va a afectar en mi asistencia. Uh, o a en minute, tuve a minute, maybe. Conectada. Maybe one minute, but... Uh, Sorry, one... Teacher, ayer, ayer también me pasó, me pasó lo mismo a mí, como dos veces. A mí me ha pasado varias veces también. Mm -hmm. Ok, let's make a paréntesis there and I'm going to explain something. La plataforma a veces se pone un poco inestable, sobre todo en las transiciones de los breaker rooms a la, a la, let's say, a la reunión principal, así, ¿verdad? Entonces, si lo saca y usted ingresa eh, rapidísimo nuevamente, el intervalo de tiempo, ¿qué podría ser? 30 segundos, no, no afecta porque Zoom me saca el conteo de todos los, de los minutos suyos conectados. Puede ser que le afecte un minuto o dos a lo sumo, si no tardo tanto en volver a ingresar. ¿Ok? Ok, y fue ajá. como que hoy me volví a conectar. ¡Corre, corre, corre! Ajá, corre. ajá, that's what you have to do. Because sometimes it is kind of unstable, you know, when you, when you leave the breaker rooms and you come here to the main room, so it, it is like that, right? But it, it depends on you and how fast you are in connecting again with the class, right? Mi el link encontraba por la carrera. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks God you are here. You're back with us, right? 
Thank you. Let's see. Uh, you. Yeah, lady. Can you repeat that question, please? Uh, what I was asking, if you have like many dishes that you are an expert uh, to prepare, you know, or on the preparation, or if you want, if you have one in a specific, can you prepare many things? Yes, I can prepare many dishes. Many dishes, many dishes. Can you dishes. mention one? I like make um, meat. <laughs> meat. I like to make, I like to prepare, right? Two. Don't forget about the two. I like to prepare, I like to I like make it. meat. Like you mean by meat, you mean a steak. Yes? Beef. That's the one. The rest, verdad? Yes, yes, or pork yes. because you you can you can be a specific i mean uh, with with meat right a steak or or pork because some people are you know very good at preparing pork so thank you lady how often do you cook i want to ask this question to a boy you know cesar how often do you cook i usually cook uh three times a week oh three times a week what do you Prepare breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Usually lunch and lunch. usually dinner. What is your best dish? You know, the one that you are you are an expert on. Mm, I think it's roast beef. <gasps> roast beef, excellent. What about your rice? Can you prepare rice? People say that uh, no. rice is very difficult for some. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> <laughs> but practice makes perfect, Cesar. So you need to try and try and try again, okay? <laughs> very okay. good, very good. Do you like cooking, Rocio? Question three. No, teacher. <laughs> I don't like cook. <laughs> you don't like cooking. Who cooks no, at home? Um... My mom or my co or my cousin. <laughs> oh, your mom or your cousin. You know, I heard something in the breakout rooms. Rocio pays someone to yes. cook for her. <laughs> yeah, you know, she is at that level of not, you know, enjoying cooking that she pays someone to cook for yes. her. <laughs> Very good. Uh, uh, why don't you like cooking? Do you think it's boring or it's... Because I don't do it very well. <laughs> ah, you know, but tutorials on YouTube are very helpful. You can learn by watching tutorials, you know? <laughs> I learn because I don't. <laughs> ah, okay, so I don't like it and I don't like it, teacher. I better buy the food, right? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Chicken soup. I don't know. Say gallina. Well, in English we say chicken soup, but you can say Creole chicken soup. Como Creole, oh. yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Creole, you know, chicken soup. Creole chicken soup. I I love make um the soup uh -huh. and and then roast. The the chicken. Yeah, I love it. Uh -huh. I ser I serve the dish uh with and sal with salad and um how do you say portion? A portion. <laughs> a, a portion of of chicken uh -huh. and and rice and two or three tortillas. Oh, two or three dollars of tortillas. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Invite us, you know. Let's invite all the class to, to okay. eat that delicious food. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite. And and I heard Jeldy saying that she has shouter, I guess, as her favorite dish. Jeldy, what, what about number five? What's your favorite dish? Uh, my favorite dish, I 
cook um, fish. Fish, fry fish. Yes, fry okay, fish. Very good, because some people love, uh, you know, the the fish in 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 a kind of soup, not not the chowder. Uh -huh. uh, but you fried. Yes, fried. Very good. I love Ex it. Excellent. With a lot of lemon on top. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, very good. You know, my mouth is watering right now. Yeah, because I am hungry. <laughs> and you're talking about food, you know. My favorite is shoulder you know my top number one is shoulder who else loves shoulder here do you know what it is genesis i guess loves this shoulder mariscada yeah do you love shoulder yes i love I it you know i i every time i go to the beach i i try to go to the to my favorite restaurant because there's no other restaurant that serves a, a delicious shelter as the one I usually go to, you know? I loved it. And all the kinds of uh, ingredients that they put on the shelter are very nice. Yes, Genesis? Yes, but I'm not the people that, how do you say, give uh chicken in the beach <laughs> ah no 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 if you go to the beach you have to eat something from the ocean uh, yeah. shrimps Food. or or fish or chowder or something what is excuse me what is chowder what does it mean Mariscana. chowder uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's the one mm -hmm. yes okay now that we have talked about these things, people, you know, that made us hungry, right? Or hungrier than you were at the beginning. We are going to take a look at this. This is going to help you for, you know, the oral evaluation number two, cooking tools. Cooking tools is the one, uh, the number one uh, kind of vocabulary that we are going to cover today. And when cooking people, we need different tools. You know, these are some of them. You need a frying pan. You need a saucepan, knife, obviously a stove, an oven in some cases, a tablespoon, a roasting pan, and also a wok. Which of these... Um, tools is a frying pan what is number number let's see no number but a frying pan what number is the the frying pan here uh, number eight some of you say number eight number some... eight number eight ah frying pan is yeah number eight my friends yes how do you how do you uh, translate that into Spanish? Sartén, right? So a, a frying pan is the number eight. Yes, number eight. What about a saucepan? Saucepan. Number five. <laughs> number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. Yeah, that is a saucepan. Yeah. What about a knife? Number seven. 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 Number three, a stove number three. Okay, is this one. An oven, oh wait, sorry, number three here. It's three here, uh-huh. In an oven, number six. number six. Okay, I don't use my oven very often, you know, because I'm not an expert on, on you know, baking or, or something that has to do with the oven. What about tablespoon? Number two. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Number two. 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 Number two
Hmm? Roasting pan mm -hmm. is this one, right? Mm -hmm. And a wok mm -hmm. one 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 to prepare, for example, chow mein, right? This this is the one for preparing that. Or, you know, uh, stir fry the vegetables or, or, or whatever other um, food, right? Okay, those are the cooking tools. There are many others, of course. Grater, peeler, uh, mixer, right? Uh, blender, but you know, in a way, that vocabulary. Or if not, yeah. you are good at investigating things. So let's move here. And let's study cooking verbs, you know? One of the cooking verbs that I have is this one, pour, pour. And pour is this, you know? When you eat cereal, you need to pour the milk on a bowl, right? That is pour. Then we have this other cooking verb that is steer. What do you do with the coffee? You know, when you add sugar to it, you stir it, right? Stir it. So this is the one. When you are making pancakes, you also stir the mixture, right? You stir it. So that's the one. Then we have here. Teacher. Please. Yes, Johnny. I'm sorry, Evelyn. Uh -huh. I have a question. Um, stir is mezclar. Revolver. Oh, Revolver. También batir. Mm, o oh, no. Pit. Batir es pit. Como ah, lo que okay. vimos al inicio, que dijimos de los huevos batidos, ¿sí? Que se convierten en omelette, ¿ya? Beaten, okay. beaten eggs, beat. Right? Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. And then we have this one, squeeze. What do you do with the lemon? What do you do with the oranges? You squeeze them, right? Squeeze them. Either with your hand or with a with a cooking tool. Yeah, we have this squeezer here, and then we have the other that is great. What is great? That is great. You grate the cheese, right? We grate the mangoes. We grate also the the papaya. You know, so that is great. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Gray de, de rayar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rayar in Spanish. That's the one. Thank you. You're Thank you. And then we have this one. Look, peel. Peel can be done by using only our hands, like the banana. You peel the banana. Or you can use a knife to peel the potato. Yes? But the verb is the same. Peel either with a with a tool or with your hands, right? Like the tangerines. Las uh, tangerines se pelan con nuestras manitas, ¿verdad que sí? Las mandarinas, tangerine, right? So you peel them with your hands, like this. And then we have fry. Fry, I believe is self-explanatory, like here, like the French fries, yeah? So you fry them. And then you can fry the eggs, you can fry the bacon, you can fry the, the chicken, yeah, fry. Here we have this verb, bake. To bake, you need an oven, okay? There's no other way to bake, but using a, an oven. You bake the pizza in the oven. You bake a cake, you know? You bake a pie. You bake bread in the oven right and here we have boil boil is another verb put some water on the stove heat it at a hundred degrees you know and what happens you boil the food there you can put some eggs inside and you boil them to make them hard you know hard boiled eggs Los huevos duros como los hacemos the hard boiled eggs Boiling them, right? You put them into boiling water. Then we have this. Chop. You need a knife and you chop the food, right? You chop. Picat. To make in into small pieces, right? Chop. Slice. 
Ah, the tomatoes for the salad, the cucumber, and other vegetables we, we put in into the, the preparation are sliced, right? Slice. So you make them round and thin. Yeah, that is a slice. It's this one. Yes, slice. You slice also the cheese or the butter, right? Or even the, well, the chocolate. You can slice the chocolate. How about grill? Grill is this, you know? Oh, I enjoy my, my weekends, you know, when I have a barbecue grill, right? Grill. This is a grill. So oh, everything you put here is grilled, right? Born. Huh. Rocio maybe is the what? <laughs> I'm kidding, Rosie. <laughs> but Rocio she says that she doesn't cook and she doesn't like it, so maybe she burns the food because she's not good at it. <laughs> Teacher, you are bullying me. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just pulling your leg. Okay, here we have the other roast. This is roast, right? You roast the food, you roast the chicken, you roast the meat etc. Okay, those are the bears, you know? And guess what? You are going to use them tomorrow to explain a recipe. Tomorrow, Rocio is going to turn into a chef because you are going to explain how to prepare a dish to me and to the rest of the class, okay? But in pairs. It's going to be in pairs. So pay attention to this because we are going to have fun with this okay so check we have the definitions here and it says match the cooking method with the definitions below and give examples cook in hot oil what is that based on the right. vocabulary right. 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 cooking hot oil teacher is fried right. uh-huh for example the fried plantains that Salvadorian people eat in the morning. Yes, fry, you fry the plantains, you fry the eggs, right? You fry the beans. Salvadorian people eat everything fried. <laughs> Very healthy, right? With a lot of oil. Number two, combine mix. ingredients together. What is that? Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix. excellent, excellent mix, right? What do you do to prepare pancakes? You, you mix eggs, you only one, of course. You mix butter, right? You mix milk, and you mix the flour. You stir. And then you stir everything, right? And the mixture is ready to be prepared, so mix. Number three, Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it's move. Uh, uh, no. no. Move ingredients. Stir. Uh -huh. stir. Yeah. yeah, move ingredients with a spoon. Yes, it is stir, right? Stir. What about four? Move liquid from one container to another container. What is it? Drain. Pour. Pour. Ah, pour. You, you know, the container of the milk and then the glass, you pour it, right? Pour. No pour, teacher, no. Pour, right? What about five? Put something together with something else. Add. Add. Excellent. So I have the feeling that Elmer is a, a very good cook. Yes, Elmer? <laughs> Only my uh, chance soup, teacher. Remove all the water. What is that? Drain. Uh, that is drain. Boil. For example, when you prepare pastas, you boil them, you try them, and then you drain the water, right? What about the next one? Cut into pieces with a knife. Chop. Chop. Shop, right? Cook in the oven. Bake. 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 Cooking hot water. Oil. 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 
Ajá, uh -huh, boil. Oh. And the last one, separate into pieces. Pray. 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 Ah, uh -huh. yes. What do you do with the egg? You don't need the shell. Yes, you just need what is inside, but you need to break it to get the egg, right, on the frying pan. So you break. Break, right? Oh, the R is missing, teacher. Come on. Okay, break. That's the one. Yes? So, using this, bears, my friends, cooking bears, these are not common. These are cooking bears. We are going to complete the next activity. Next activity is about, you know, using this vocabulary. Adrian is going to describe how to prepare a simple dish. Pay attention. Listen to the audio and fill in the gaps below. This is how I want you to explain your recipe in pairs, you know, tomorrow. Pay attention. Here we go. No listen. Do you listen to the audio? No. No, no. Teacher. no teacher. Only the teacher is listening to it. Sorry, guys. I need to confuse. Ah, yeah. I was not sharing the audio. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Today I'm going to tell you about a quick and easy dish that tastes great. You will need some onions, mushrooms, eggs, and tomatoes. First, chop the mushrooms, tomatoes, and onions. Then, fry the onions and mushrooms until they are a light brown. After that, mix the eggs and pour them into the frying pan with the mushrooms and onions. Cook for two or three minutes. Add the tomatoes. Finally, fold the omelet in half and cook for one more minute. Okay. Do you have the vocabulary or do we try a uh, second time? Second, second time, time, please. Okay, second here time. we go, here we go. Today I'm going to tell you about a quick and easy dish that tastes great. You will need some onions, mushrooms, eggs, and tomatoes. First, chop the mushrooms, tomatoes, and onions. Then, fry the onions and mushrooms until they are a light brown. After that, Mix the eggs and pour them into the frying pan with the mushrooms and onions. Cook for two or three minutes. Add the tomatoes. Finally, fold the omelet in half and cook for one more minute. What about now? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, let's try, yeah. let's try. Yeah. Um, what do we put first here? Chop, chop, chop. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Shop, right? The bear shop. And then? Fry. And fry. 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 Ah, fry, teacher. What about the next one? Mix. Uh, mix. Mix. Uh -huh. Well done. And then? Four. Yeah, that's the one. Four. And here? Cook. Yes, and number six? Add. 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 Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at let's take a look at the description. You know, this is how I want you to describe your recipe because this person has been super organized with the description. You know, first of all, you need to explain what you are going to prepare, right? Second, you have to explain the ingredients. They are very important, very important. And then you present 
the process or procedure, you know? And how do you express or explain the procedure? By using sequence words. First, second, uh, next, after that, right? And finally, those are sequence words. Or you can call them linking or connectors, you know? Why connectors? Because they join the first idea with the second one and then like a chain, okay? So let's take a look at this. It says, today I am going to tell you about a quick, a quick and easy dish that tastes great. You will need some ingredients, onions, mushrooms, eggs, and tomatoes. Okay, now comes the procedure. First, chop the mushrooms, tomatoes, and onions. Then what happens? Fry the onions and mushrooms until they are light brown. Look, not born, light brown. After that, mix, right, the eggs and pour them into the frying pan with the mushrooms and onions. Cook for two or three minutes. Add the tomatoes, finally fold. Fold the omelet in half and cook for more, for one more minute. Very simple, right? Very simple. So I, um, I recommend you to divide, you know, the, the, the presentation into the one that is going to explain the ingredients and then the other person continues with the preparation of the ingredient, right? So I want to listen to one of you reading this, please, as if you were presenting the recipe to the class. Maybe Jonathan, Jose Jonathan can, can help us. Okay, teacher. Give me one minute. Uh, today, today I'm going to tell about a quick and easy, and easy day dish that tastes great. You will need some onions, mustard, eggs, and tomatoes. First, chop the mustard, tomatoes, and onions. Then, fry the onions and mustard until they are clean brown. After that, mix the eggs and pour them in the fry pan with the mustard and onion. Cook for two or three minutes. Add the tomatoes. Finally, fold the omelet in, in half and cook for one more minute. Minute. Okay, very good. Here, light. Light brown, light brown is the is the pronunciation. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Okay, now let's continue well, practicing. Don't think that this is going to be it, okay? No, I'm going to give you more chances to be exposed to different recipes. Today I'm going This is the one. Number the instructions in the correct order. Okay, what happens first? in the listening or in the preparation of this recipe. What is the, the step number one? First job, the mouse. Sure. Sure, that is very easy. First, it's the first, right? So this is number one. First, chop the mushrooms, tomatoes, and onions. What is number two? Then, then fry the onions. Fry the onions and mush. Okay. Three. Okay, after that, mix the eggs and pour them into the frying pan with the mushrooms and onions. Next. Add the tomato. No. No. Look for two or three minutes. Oh. Yes. And next. Add 
Add the tomatoes. Add the tomatoes. Add the tomatoes. And finally, finally. Okay. These are the words I need to hear tomorrow. Look, the underlined words are the ones I need to listen to. First, then, after that, next, finally, okay? I need you to use the, the sequence words. They are very important. I don't want you to be, put the tomatoes. Put the tomatoes, or, no. First, you need to decorate your uh, explanation, okay? And how do you make it more coherent and with cohesion by using, you know, these expressions, you know? So they are very important. Take a look at them and write them if it is possible. If you are going to forget them, write them down on your notebooks, okay? Because you are going to need them for your oral presentation number two. Okay, so here we go. More practice. So, sorry, teacher, have a question. Tell me. Uh, this, this is presentation is for tomorrow. Uh -huh, but you are going to create it in the class. Thank you. Like the previous conversations. But in this case, it is going to be evaluated. Okay? So you are going to work for, for what? 10 to 15 minutes together. So you have to start thinking about the recipe you can create together with a classmate. And then you present it to the class, like the chefs, you know, from the Thank TV you. programs. Yeah. Thank okay, Lucy. Very good. Thank you. Okay, take a look at this, guys. And you are going to go to the breakout rooms to practice. You know, this is a recipe to prepare a spaghetti with marinara sauce so you have to use the bears you know to complete this so i'm going to send you to the breakout rooms right now so you can work together right now with a classmate right so this is going to help you as a practice for tomorrow's presentation okay so here we go again to the same break a room with the same person, okay? So, there you go. Okay. Miss, I have I have a question. Right, right now. Uh, uh, tell me. Esta misma vamos a decir, solo que eh, o una diferente. No, a different one. This is only ah, practice. This is the example you are going to take to explain your own. Okay. 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 This is a recipe. 
two. Uh, we are the complete the, the sentences. But really? Yes, with the verbs. You have the verbs in a box. Okay. On okay. top of the on top of the description, there is an orange box with the verbs. You need to put them in the correct space. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Este, uh, the first fry, I think mm -hmm. fry, fry the, and garlic in olive oil for a few minutes. Fry, yeah. no? Friends. Fry. Yes. Yes, I chop it. Um, second. Where is chop it? Chop it. Chop it. Or chop in past. I don't know. Mm. Uh, uh, we are uh, we are used the the words in in the first in the first ah. line. Ah, sorry, I don't yeah. see. Okay. Um. Okay, and sería can we have fry? Is real. The first and ah, second, the second, yeah, and once. Go to the bottom of all of all your own in the first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the onion and garlic in the olive oil for a few minutes. Serve. How do you say mezclar? Por la hermana menor. No, mix. A mix. Mix. Yes. Yes. Thank you, teacher. And the number three is mix. No. Sí. Sí, sí. Ah. Y luego el cook a low heat for about 30 minutes in a large creo que sería boil number one y porque bueno. ser es servir y sí okay, okay. Yeah, number two. Well, oh, yeah. perdón, que lo No se borra. Ah, la última sería serve. Ya la. Ay, ¿por qué me En Spanish, para ablandarla. Uh -huh. It's more delicious. But in this case, uh, <laughs> in this case, I I don't add for this recipe. Uh, only these ingredients, Dora. Only these ingredients. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. The procedimiento. So. <laughs> Okay. In make it. Okay. Thank you, Pronunciation. teacher. Listen, ingredients, recipe, and procedure. Ingredients, recipe, procedure. Procedure, recipe, ingredients. Okay? Like that. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. I'm here to help you. Okay.
Dora, can you listen me? Yes. Okay. Uh, about on the grid. On the area grid. Mm. Well, in my case, I I think That's use so. frying pan. Guys, mm. I, I have a question. Are you working on your recipe right now? Or on the on on the exercise that I presented. Because I sent a picture to the group and to and to the chat here. Did you complete that? I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, Nosotros pensamos que íbamos a hacer nuestra receta. Uh, mm, yes, but it, it is going to be tomorrow. Te, tienen oh. que tomar de ejemplo el ejercicio para crear la suya, pero está bien que ya lo tengan acá más o menos armado, ¿ok? Because now you have the ideas. So I will try, trataré de que sean ustedes dos los que queden mañana en el grupo, ¿sí? De break the rooms para que lo vayan puliendo, ¿ok? But right now... You have to go over the exercise that you need to complete, the one that I was presented, you know? Okay. I'm sorry if I didn't make myself clear, right? And, and you were uh, working on this now. Sorry, guys. But you have to, to work on the, other, on the other thing, please. No problem, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Uh -huh. What's going oh, on? Good morning. Ah, you sent the homework in the morning. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I, I got it. I got it. And, and your grade is, uh, is there on my chart. Don't worry. How are uh -huh. you doing now with the, with the activity? Are you finished? Finished, yes. yes. Oh, well, my yeah. my favorite dish uh -huh. prepared good or example you reset to recipe. No, you can choose whatever recipe, the one that is uh, simple for you to explain, but not too short, because you are going to do it in pairs tomorrow, not today. Okay. What we are doing right now is practicing to be prepared for tomorrow. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you finish with the activity, let's go back to the to the main room. Okay, let's leave the, the breaker room. See you there, guys. Yeah, in the chat. Yes. Language or conversation with Evelyn. No, no, no. You were supposed to complete the paragraph. Oh, a, a procedure with the verbs on top. On top, there's a, an orange box that contains the verbs. So you, you're supposed to place the verbs uh, in the correct space. Yes, teacher. We, we complete. Okay, great. So Let's yes. have the answers in, with, the, uh, with the whole class, okay? Let's leave here the, the, the breakout rooms. See you. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see guys what uh, what you got from this exercise. This is, uh, some of you got confused. Maybe it was my bad that I didn't explain the activity well, but I didn't ask for creating the conversation or the presentation today. I sent you to the breakout rooms to do this, you know, to use the verbs from one to five to complete the explanation, 
All right. So I hope everybody completed this and here we go. Recipe two, it says spaghetti with marinara sauce. The ingredients, half pound of spaghetti, two tablespoons of olive oil, 1.5 cans of chopped tomatoes, chopped garlic and onion, and uh, parsley, pepper, and salt. Okay, what about the procedure? How did you complete this? Let's start with Elmer because Elmer uh, is the first person that appears here on the on the line here, my line. So, Elmer, in a large frying pan, what do you have for number one? Fry. Exactly. Very good. In a large frying pan, fry. Fry what, Elmer? Fry uh, the onion and garlic in the olive oil for a few minutes. For a few minutes. Okay, so you have to be specific also with the time, with the cooking time, right? Uh, number two, I need for this Fatima. Fatima, what do you have for number two? Add. Add. Yeah, that's the one. Add what? <laughs> Fatima, add what? Add? Add chopped tomato, salt, pepper, and parsley to be prepared. Add the chopped, chopped tomatoes, salt, pepper, and parsley to the frying pan. Frying pan, frying pan. Number three. Let's listen to Lady Mariela. Um, <laughs> steer? Steer, yeah. Steer what? Mariela. Steer? A steer with a wooden spoon. With a wooden, wooden, wooden spoon, wooden spoon. Uh, wooden spoon. Mm -hmm. Next, Sarah, continue with the reading here. Cook on a low heat for about 30 minutes in a large saucepan, boil. Oh, boil, says Sarah. Boil. Boil what? Boil the pasta according to the instructions on the packet. Mix okay. the pasta with the sauce and... And what is the last one, Damaris? Serve. And serve. Very good. We serve. How many serve? Serve warm. Warm. Okay. This is the recipe for spaghetti with marinara sauce. It's short. If you see, it is short, right? Tomorrow, you have to create something longer. That's why I need you to start thinking what you can explain tomorrow. So if you have the ideas previously like analyzed, then it is going to be easier for you to put them into practice tomorrow during the presentation. You are going to have for tomorrow's class and tomorrow's presentation, you are going to have from 10 to 15 minutes to get together with your classmate, organize the presentation, and remember, you can also use your computer to show pictures. There is something, there is a, a, a kind of function, let's say, on the, on the toolbar that says, share your screen. Así que va a poder compartir pantalla también por si quiere agregar pictures okay a su presentación because you can share it i that is something i have realized in this room 
no estamos usando esa función que es muy importante. Cuando está creando una conversación, puntitos, puede usted usar esa, esa, esa parte de la aplicación que dice compartir pantalla para que ahí veamos cómo vamos organizando. El único que me he fijado que lo hace es Carlitos, ¿ok? Y eso es bueno, porque ahí nos cercioramos del spell y nos cercioramos de que si la idea va escrita correctamente. Y también nos ayuda como un visual aid, una ayuda visual. No es lo mismo tener el background completamente black, ¿verdad? Sino podemos ocupar ese, eso que tenemos a nuestro favor para dar a entender las ideas de forma más... Um, completa, okay? So I don't know if you have questions about this activity that you can ask right now. Any yeah, uh, we, will, we will be our partner. Okay, now, you know, I cannot assure you the person you were working with today is the person you are going to be working with tomorrow. Yes, because the platform is spontaneously creates You know, the, the breaker runs according to how many people are connected at the moment. So the person is not going to be chosen right now. Yes. What I recommend you to do is to think about ideas so you can bring them tomorrow and share them with the person you are going to be working with. So each of you, since you don't know who the person is, no sabemos con quién vamos a trabajarlo. Cada quien trae una receta, ¿ok? Traiga los ingredients, la, el procedure, el proceso, y luego comparamos cuál nos saldría más adecuada para nosotros dos, ¿ok? De eso se va a tratar el trabajo en grupo y cómo podemos adecuar el vocabulario, ¿ok? Because I cannot tell you Elmer is going to work with Carlos because at the time I create the breaker rooms, it is at random, you know, at random. Yes, so that's why. But good question, Elmer. Good question. Any other? That I have a question. Teacher. Tell me, Brenda. Uh, the presentation uh, va a ser de, uh, de memoria. The explain. Um, the most recommendable Or... thing is to make, uh, to make it like that. But of course, you're going to have your notes. Se va a tener sus okay. notitas ahí, así que puede apoyarse en ellas también. Voy a evaluar okay. uso del vocabulario, pronunciation, ¿sí? Tal okay. vez no que me lo diga de memoria porque lo va a crear en el momento, pero sí, pronunciation of the words, use of the vocabulary, connectors, lo que vimos hoy, los conectores, no quiero que me diga corto tomates, co cocino los tomates, eh, no, ok, so, first, Second, after that, esos conectores. Quiero, quiero verlos reflejados en su presentación. ¿Ok? ¿Any other Teacher, question? Okay. Ajá. Voy a preguntárselo en español porque después me toca andarle preguntando a todos mis compañeros porque no entiendo. Ok. <risa> este, vaya, usted dice que vamos a tener 10 a 15 minutos, pero eso no va a ser para la explicación, sino que va a ser para estructurarlo para pulir, con el ajá, Para pulir la, la presentación y distribuirse quién va a decir qué. Y a la, ah, ok, eso. Ajá, eso, no es 15 Tranquilo. minutos para presentar, imagínese que <risa> vamos a terminar hasta las 10 de la noche <risa> Y nos, vamos a, y nos vamos a apoyar presentando también este, la, la, la imagen de alguna receta, de la receta que vamos a crear. Exacto. O sea, ese es el trabajo que lleva usted ahorita o en el tiempo que le quede libre mañana de buscar por lo menos, digamos, en Google. Eh, si, mi, si mi receta incluye, por ejemplo, camarones, yo busco una imagen de camarones que yo pueda incluir, vea, que lo voy a tener guardado en mi dispositivo para ponerlo en una presentación que voy a trabajarla con mi compañero de 10 a 15 minutos, tomorrow. ¿Ok? Pero, Thank you. El, pero mañana, en el momento de la que... Ahí me... eh, repeat the question, please, because I didn't, I didn't catch the idea. <laughs> Lucas, please, quiet. <laughs> Ajá. Eh, ah. Lo, de, lo de los equipos va a ser mañana lo, en el momento de la clase. Exactly, yes. Hasta ahí me había quedado en la luna. Sí, y yo en es que... que lo que quiero es que la primera evaluación fue enviada a mi personal. Entonces quiero que esta quede como evidencia en el video que nosotros grabamos de la clase normal para que también Isafor lo vea, ¿ok? That, uh... That's the idea. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
So, okay. is it clear? Yeah. Clear, clear. clear. Good. Any okay. other question, guys? Any other doubt? Teacher, ¿puedo faltar mañana a clase? No. <laughs> no, because you have to show me that you are learning, okay? So, mañana. tomorrow, Pero... everybody. And tomorrow, guys, it's Friday. And we are about to finish with the level. So, please, stay connected with me, okay? So, that's it, people. So, we are going to finish with the class here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow with this Thank wonderful you. activity where you are going to be chefs. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye.